I'm Frank Reich, and I'm the offensive coordinator. That's the way to get back, 11. That's the way to get back. That's the way to get back with speed. Anytime you're going to work for a new organization, to me, the number one thing is the people. In the coaching profession, it starts with the head coach. And having a chance, immediately you jump on that opportunity. You know, Doug and I have a history together. We're teammates very briefly, but have followed each other in the coaching career. And I've just always thought of Doug as a first-class individual and a football guy through and through. Quickness and accuracy, quickness and accuracy. Love it, love it, love it. Love it, Carson. Yeah. Our offensive coaching staff, it's a great staff. And I think Doug has surrounded himself with a bunch of people who will respect the chain of command but bring a lot to the equation. For me as the offensive coordinator, you know, I do feel like one of the strengths that I could bring would be in the passing game, you know, to suggest a few ideas and concepts that can help this team win football games. Either one, you know, just you visualize the rush that you're facing. Go. Good, good, nice, nice. Good work, good work. You know, I think one thing as a coach who has played, I first and foremost have a respect for the guys who played at any level. You understand how difficult of a job it is to be a player and the pressure that is always on you, but yet you also understand what it takes to make those plays that win games because you've made some of them and then you've missed some of them and you couldn't sleep at night because you did miss something. And now getting into coaching is a way to kind of pass on what you've learned from those good experiences and those bad experiences as a player. And I think as a, as a coach now, I think the players can sense that. Profiles in Coaching brought to you by Rothman Institute at Jefferson, the official orthopedic partner of the Philadelphia Eagles.